In Melbourne, Australia, thousands gather for the National Tattoo Expo. While tattoo needles do draw blood, it's only skin deep. But behind this protective screen, an artist known as Dr. Rev is about to dig way deeper. He's about to put his life on the line in the name of art. I'm gonna do a painting with blood pumping straight out of my arm into my airbrush. And I hope that it doesn't kill me. Instead of feeding his vital organs, Rev's blood is about to paint a pretty picture. As he gears up for action, a crowd surrounds him like a school of sharks. Yeah, you, you've got to ask yourself, are they there to see you pain or are they there to see you possibly die? With blood about to flow, only three people are allowed behind the protective screen. You're going to see here. Am I? Yeah. Dr. Rev, his wife Marie, and a nurse with a needle. OK, all yours. Do it. Do what you got to do. Let's go. All, all right, now, you ready? We're in, Rev. Go, all right, you go, ready? Go. you got to pull the needle out. Go, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. All right, go, go, go. That's it, we're in. The safe amount taken in an average blood test is 20 millilitres. Up, 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 there, tape. Dr Rev will need 20 times that much for his painting. Most people's thoughts about blood refer to pain, injury, death. I mean, these are all very negative connotations. So obviously when people decide they're going to paint with blood, the natural knee-jerk reaction is it's something that's horrifying. With the cannula now running from his arm into the airbrush, Rev's ready to paint straight from his vein. All right. The first spray of the gun makes him instantly woozy. When I'm hooked up, it's constant agony. The standard width of a cannula is 0.8 of a millimetre, but Rev's needle is twice that size. That means twice as much blood coming out, twice as fast. Are you right? Yeah. Love it. Do you need water? Uh -oh. You got your water? Do you want me to help you? <laughs> Would you like another What's up, babe? Nothing. Nothing. Leave me alone. And that's not the only danger. With the air gun pumping at 50 psi, a malfunction could be deadly. If the airbrush gets a blockage, then the air will push the blood back through that hose and back into my body, which in turn would give me a heart attack. Um, or worse. For four long hours, Rev's blood sprays the canvas. If you'd kicked me in the gut, that's about how good I feel right about now. Which raises the question, why does Rev do this to himself? It is shock art. He's doing things that makes him stand out from the crowd. When you stand out from the crowd, you feel psychologically good about yourself because you're doing things that nobody else can do. So, who exactly is Dr. Rev? The centre of my existence is to shock. He's an extreme artist with a bad boy image. And maybe a touch of the drama queen? I shot myself in the arm. Uh, as a protest against contemporary art. I do get a kick out of it. And it is fun, and I love to give the people what they want. You know, as much as I get a thrill out of it. The blood painting is, uh, is only warming up. It's, uh, it's going to get bigger, badder, and, and more extreme. Back home in Sydney, being the wife of a blood painter, takes guts. It can get messy. Coming home, you know, there's always going to be little extra droplets of blood to clean up. Like, at one stage, he was boiling his blood in my saucepans. Rev stores his own blood to paint commissions for private collectors. My paintings sell for anywhere between five, six hundred dollars for a small eight by ten. Preserved with hairspray, they'll last a lifetime. My dearest painting's $30,000. $30,000 worth of shock value for a painting created by a shotgun. 
and a shell filled with blood. Um, it hurt like hell. Blood is supposed to be inside the body. Anytime blood is outside the body, we have a signal that something is wrong. And that, for Rev, means he's doing something right. But where does he go from here? The next event will be something completely and utterly different. And I attempted to do one of the biggest blood paintings that have ever been done. It's going to take a bucket load of blood. So we have more blood today. Over two litres of the stuff. They say you should only take one pint every 53 days. Um, I disagree. <laughs> Rev's stockpiling blood for the big one. A larger-than-life plasma portrait as a gift for his good friends Paul and Kat. They are no art connoisseurs, but they love his bloody work. It's not just anyone's blood, it's someone we know and we trust. If some Joe Blow off the street come up and threw blood in our face, obviously we wouldn't be too happy. Now when they say your face, mate, oh shut up, we fear. <laughs> Over the next few months, the project slowly takes shape. Rev fleshes out the concept, builds up his blood bank. I'll say a good job. How much is he? Um, one and a half litres. And gathers the hardware he'll need for the performance. Where the f was this yesterday? Something that's never been done before. It's something that it's self-expressive and it's expressing us two as a couple as well. I trust Rev to really express how we feel. He's putting his life into each picture. Oh, man. After three months of bloodletting, Rev's finally ready to go, and it's about to get messy. Downtown Sydney, the night of the big event. Not everyone in the audience is confident they'll get to see the finished piece. I don't think I'm squeamish with blood, but um, we might find out the hard way if I am. Yeah. I might have to leave early, I don't know. <laughs> blood conveys a certain type of risk that you could infect somebody if they came in close proximity to these paintings is what gives them something of an edge. Things like hepatitis live for two weeks out of the body. Rev has regular blood tests to make sure he's disease-free. But just in case the artwork is taking place inside a glass cube. They're terrified that my blood, airborne, is going to infect everybody that walks past. Outside the cube, it's safe. Inside, it's a bloodbath. The canvas is two metres high and two metres wide. Kat and Paul are human stencils, and they're up for a drenching. When I put my hand over Kat's face, I went, you know, and sprayed her across her face, I kind of expected her to maybe flinch, and she didn't flinch at all. This painting, a story of their relationship, you know, I'm going to give it to them well, afterwards. Yeah, they'll end up owning the biggest blood painting that's ever been done. It's all they hoped for and more. I can't say anything else, but I love it. It worked out perfectly. I really like the way that that has turned out. For Rev, it's all about pumping up the shock factor and walking the line between pleasure and pain. Deep down, I think I'm just an artist that likes to do things that other people don't like to do, whether it be good or bad. Yeah, I just love what I do. You know, if you don't like it, don't look at it. It's that simple.